Good morning, everybody, and uh, welcome back. Uh, anybody that's new here, uh, I'm on a new body of water. Uh, some of you guys might know, but it's early. It's real early. I finally got out here early enough to do some searching. Um, today, I'm going to be learning this body of water a little bit better here, so uh, I'm going to probably catch a little bit of everything. I know it's got good fish in it, so fingers crossed if you're seeing this. We got on some fish. Okay, obviously, like I said in the intro, um, I'm going to be learning this body of water. So I'm going to take my time. I'm going to dissect it. I'm going to try and explain a little bit to you guys. Hopefully you guys can uh, understand it as I talk through this. I'm going to, I think I'm going to start early here and possibly try for some walleye. If you don't get into those, I have an idea about the next thing and we'll go from there. Pretty big walleye I got there. Um, I'll show it to you in a second here, but what I wanted to explain here, so I remember to do this, is I was just dragging bottom with a drop shot rig and a full red worm, uh, big red, not little red worms, full full red worms. Uh, if you can't get your hands on leeches, which I didn't happen to grab last night before I came out here, I just use my red worms. Full full red worms almost always work. Uh, yeah, let me show you this. Thing. New lakes. As long as you know there's fish in there and you know how to fish, you know how to catch the fish. So, drop shot walleye. I'm going to measure it. Um, I don't usually keep them when they're over like 20, 22 inches. I, I like 15 to 18 to clean, so we'll see how big this one Alright, she's on the dot. Probably just 23. It's a nice fish, so I'm going to put it back. I want to you guys can go catch her. So that was fun. Uh, that was like my first drag. And I didn't know there was big walleyes in here. I knew there was a, a lot of walleyes in here, but anything over 22 inches is a good fish. Uh, I know a lot of guys that that's their PB, so. Uh, fingers crossed, let's get some more of those guys. Uh, I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and do a couple walleye here. And if I can figure that out in this early morning bite, uh, I'll probably switch over to either gills, crappie, perch, or I think there's white bass and yellow bass out here. And those are always fun, so. Let's get some more fish.
Okay, so I was cruising through this big open expanse in a river and uh, yeah, I found some fish. I seen them. Uh, I know you can't see it very well, but like it's only like four feet deep here. But I actually could see them on the bottom and I'm going to get the uh, apex rod out, throw a tube on there and see if I can catch some of them. So for whatever reason, these fish are still bedding. You can see he's in spawn colors. They hate these tubes, so I want to make sure he goes right back on that butt though. Right there. There we go. That's definitely a bigger one. drive this guy right back to where he came from right there all right back to the drop shot on a deep weed edge here Let's see if we can stick some more of those big bluegills Panning out, time to move. There we go. And we're back. <laughs> Just like that. These fish are so meaty. There's one. Ooh, that is definitely a good kill. Fight hard. Come on. Ooh. Oh, jeez, this one's kind of heavy. Pull 
करना है कि These are like tropical fish, man. yellow bass of the day and it's after I switch lines.
<laughs> the little tiny small mouse. <laughs> Ferocious. Alright guys, so I'm going to call it quits early today. Uh, I have some fish to clean. Uh, let me show you those real quick. So one keeper walleye and was that five? Alright, first things first, I want to say thank you for uh, sticking around. I got, uh, I was saying I got five or six of those uh, yellow bass and then one big walleye. I think it's like 17 and a half. Um, it's a keeper. So I'm gonna go clean some fish and unbeknownst to any of you guys, I did today with uh, zero sleep. So this is another 48 hour day, uh, not on purpose, but that's just kind of how it is when you're editing and filming and editing and filming and traveling and trying to film. It gets kind of hectic. So thanks again for sticking around this far. If you made it this far, thank you. I have to say thank you. Uh, it means a lot to me. So. If you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, please just remember to. Yeah.